Well, hello there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate those likes and subscribes. Anybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I am running a $35 half-hour FaceTime sale um, by using OCT222 in the promo section at checkout on my website. Um, you can receive a half hour FaceTime for $35. That sale is good until October 14th. If you would like to enter to win $175, holla, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and entering the blessing. But Scorp, as always, if you're doing well for yourself, let's pass this on to our friends here that could use the extra come up. But everybody is welcome to enter to win a free half hour FaceTime reading by liking, subscribing, and entering reading. I hope everybody is doing well, vibing high, and living your best Friday life. This is the Daily Tarot Scorpio. If you work Monday through Friday and you are watching this today, Friday, congrats. You've made it through your week. I hope everybody had the most beautiful and blessed week possible. What is the overall energy for today, Spirit? What is the overall energy for my babes today? Ooh, number 20, Envy. In reverse, thinking man, number 46. You could be 20, you could be 46. Those numbers could mean something to you. For some of you, you're dealing with a little envy. There's somebody around you that's envious of you or you have envy for something or somebody. You're trying to come out of your mind. You're trying to get out of your head and, and not obsess over this person. There's somebody here that you are starting to finally try to let go of. But envy could be an issue. Remember, Scorpio, there's no need. We all have our own journey, our own path. And if somebody else looks like they're, they're more successful than you or they're more attractive than you, we all have something special about us. Instead of envying it in another person, look at it as something you could accomplish or, or what are your good traits um, physically or otherwise. We all have issues here on planet Earth, no matter how somebody looks or how they portray themselves on line for some of you you're dealing with a situation where you are left for a third party and you have a lot of envy in your heart you're you're trying not to but you're very envious for others you have people around you envying you right now it's important to recognize the people around you and and their motives for you scorp because there could be some people around you who envy you but you're learning something. You feel tested with the situation. You're searching for more, searching for knowledge, thinking about going back to school for some of you, thinking thinking about changing some things, trying to find the truth about a situation. Again, a masculine energy. Very masculine energy today. You could be in a very masculine energy of getting shit done or there's a man in your life that's going to play a very key role today. For some of you here, um, you're just embodying a very masculine energy. That doesn't mean that, it, it, you know, you could be the, the most girly female ever. It just means that you are in a masculine energy of not sitting back. You're, you're getting out here and getting it. You're getting why the getting's good. You're trying to um, further educate yourself in some, some way, searching for knowledge, trying to figure out um, what is really going on. Abundance, baby, and the unseen. Well, now we have a, got a match, a man and a woman. For some of you here, there's something going on today with with you and um another person uh of the opposite sex you could be going out on a date you could be um you know i don't know meeting somebody for the first time today a man or and a woman playing a key role there could be some um romantic interest in in mind that you're learning something about today scorpio 
an arrival to abundance, financial blessings, reward for your effort, money flows easily into your life. For some of you, you're getting paid today. You only get paid every two weeks. And today, baby, is payday. You're thinking about going out in the town or buying yourself something good. You could have some financial blessing come in today. You could have some win. You could win something today. Um, and it is a blessing from the divine. Working behind the scenes, not seeing the full picture. The blessings you don't see and magic happening behind the scenes. Spirit's letting you know that you have some really good things coming in, but you're not seeing them. For some of you, there's something that you're not seeing the full picture, and that's why you are trying to find the truth. You're trying to find the truth in the matter about maybe your ex and another love interest about somebody you're dating and another love interest currently right now or there could be some things going on that you are you feel like something's not quite right about the situation but you can't put your finger on what's wrong with this person or what their true motives are you could have just recently met somebody. What What is discovering the truth? What is Scorpio discovering today, please? For some of you, you're just discovering the truth about um, what you need to do. Or you, you've been very confused on if you should move forward or not. And today, for some of you, you could find something out that, that yeah, you've been very confused. Seven of Cups energy, Four of Cups here. And feeling very rejected by another person. You seem to be discovering the truth about why they rejected you. For some of you, you could have a conversation with this person today. They could be uh, upfront and honest with you about what has been going on, about why they have dropped off, about what's been going on behind the scenes. They could be honest and tell you um, what it is they have been up to or why they started to behave the way they did what is the unseen um, but there is magic happening behind the scenes you are bringing in some beautiful things into your life your big daddy in the house king of pentacles and the world scorpio you're going through karmic completions right now so if you're feeling like really off really off balance really sad things just feel something it just doesn't feel right i just keep hearing that there's something here that you feel just isn't right either about the way you've been feeling or about a situation you know something else is going on um, one of the reasons why you are energetically maybe not feeling the best is because you're going through a karmic completion so a lot of things are going to fall away people places um, you know pain uh, you're going to be able to get past some of these things and find closure which means though energetically you're going to start bringing in new things um, a lot of beauty a lot of new energy you're going into a new season if you've been in the winter of your life let's say you're walking into the spring if you have been in the summer of your life um, you know you're, you're going into the fall where things are just calm um, you know nothing's really coming but nothing's leaving either everything is just really calm you're in a transition period for some of you you've definitely been in the winter of a season here it's been cold it's been dreary nothing's happening you feel at least and the divine is letting you know that no matter what here you have some new things um coming in there's blessings behind the scenes and there's blessings in disguise you could have been dealing with a earth sign here um and had some kind of completion there's something you could find out about a earth sign in your life as well there's something that it looks one way but it's actually another if you're envious and you feel like your ex let's say has moved on to another person and they're happy you may learn that something else is actually going on that things are not as good as it seems king of cups though embodying your own energy standing strong here in the king of cups scorpionic energy for some of you you have two people in your life right now a new one that you're just getting to know and a past person that you could discover some truth about online for some of you, you could find something on this person's social. You could meet somebody on social today or be thinking about making money on the World Wide Web somehow. 
there's going to be some blessing come in for you if you start pursuing some goal that may include um, an internet business for some of you. What is this abundance, baby? That's what we want. That's what we want. Our blessing spirit. We want our blessing. Bring him to us now. Universe, I am open to receive my blessings for all the pain and all the issues that I have went through. Ten of uh, swords here, energy. For some of you, you were just so betrayed. You've had a really hard go of it. Life has not been easy. Um, you have been being tested. It's been test after test. And the divine is letting you know, hang on stay in love and light continue to educate yourself continue to stay in your highest self you're going to get your groove back queen of wands energy you will you will and some financial blessings money flowing easier for you is coming if it hasn't started already it is about to for some of you, there could be a fire sign energy, a third party energy involved. You could have been betrayed by this past person and you may learn something about it today. But at the end of the day, the divine is going to bless you in many ways um, in, in some with some form of abundance. This could be a big payout, a lotto win. This could be a, a cozy job where you do less work and make more money. Blessings come big and small it could be something small um you know some kind of credit on your electric bill or or something like this you you know the divine has something in mind for you to allow money to start flowing easier because you're going through a lot of pain often the universe will bring in um things like this to help you heal so you don't have to worry about money why you heal for some of you, you could get a big divorce settlement you could get a nice child support payment which allows you to not be so stressed about money why you are healing from this betrayal is what I feel for some of you you've been betrayed greatly and the divine is trying to make other parts of your life easier so you can take the time to heal and sit with yourself get your confidence back here beautiful for some by the end of october you're going to have some kind of financial blessing come in if you do remember to come back and tell me i've seen somebody said they won twenty five hundred dollars i'm so happy for you you may have a black cat you can see a black cat today for some of you um there's something happening around halloween <clears throat> so moving on to money spirit tell me what is the daily message about money a gift telling you a gift but the past the past is coming back an old job an old connection look to the past to understand your future a lesson or a old skill the past is holding you back teach yourself to be present period Scorpio I say it almost every day I'm like a broken damn record but I'm telling you I don't say it for nothing if you continue to live in the past and ruminate on the past and ruminate on things you should have done could have done things people did to you um, this and that sweetheart you're missing out on your present moment you, you will find that a month has went by and you can't even remember what you did yesterday because you were so wrapped up in your mind about what happened in the past. Coming to the present moment and really trying to stay focused in the moment will allow your life to start changing in ways you can't even imagine. Not only your stress level and your vibration, but enjoying your life actually. Scorpio, tomorrow is not promised and yesterday already happens. You can't change it. If you can't change something, learn from it, grow from it, and let it go. That's all you can do. For some of you, the past is holding you back financially. You've made some mistakes maybe financially or somebody took from you or somebody you went through a bad breakup and the rest of your life started to fall apart and you're allowing it to affect your present moment. And it's important to remember that only you have the ability to change and come to the present moment. It is a learned skill. It, we have to work hard on it. It doesn't come easy, but with mindfulness and working on it, you can do it. And, and before you know it, your life will just start feeling so much easier. Life is about, about perception.
We all could ruminate on the things that happened to us in the past. We could all leave wounds, hold us back from doing certain things. Every single one of us on planet Earth has had something that we could hang on to. But why? What is it solving? Someone would give you a gift or help you in some way. You have natural talents and gifts and your abilities are waiting to be discovered. You're sitting on your gifts and talents. Believe that you are meant to be great, sweetheart. Believe it. Believe that you have gifts and talents that could change your life financially. Trust and believe that only you can do certain things here on planet Earth. It, 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 only your style. Maybe you do the same thing. Maybe you sing, um, you know, and there's millions of singers, but only you can sing that song the way you would. You are, are, are ultimately responsible for your own happiness and your own um, abundance. Squirt. And by coming to the present moment and allowing your gifts and talents to shine, you will be able to change your money situation around. A new idea, a project, a great potential here. Raise your vibration to attract higher vibrational situations, sweetheart. I don't just say things, I say it because I'm guided to. You need to raise your vibration so you can change your situation. For some of you, you want to be a club promoter. Maybe you are a club promoter. For some of you, you're a bartender, a server, or whatever. You stay in a high enough vibration, and who knows who could walk into your bar or your restaurant that wants to hire you because they like your vibe. Who knows the, the opportunities you could bring into you if you stay in a high enough vibration. And the only way to stay in a high vibration is to stay present in the present moment. You can easily fix your finances with a little friction. Mechanic and auto repair or any career in repair. Mend what needs mending. It might be broken, but all is not lost. Period. Spirit is saying exactly what I said. Scorpio, raise your vibration here and start working on your finances. All is not lost. You have the ability to change your future. If you're going through hard times financially, your future doesn't have to look that way. Not with a little elbow grease and a little creativity here. Tell me about the gift. You may receive a gift today or some, you're receiving something from the divine for all the pain and all the lessons you have went through. Tell me about the gift. I love you. I love my guide. Nine of Cups here. Boom. Wish fulfillment. Something coming in. But it is going to require you to get in a high vibration so you can start aligning with good things. So you can start a letting um, the divine bring you in these, wow, beautiful Ace of Cups. Something that you love. A career that you love, sweetheart. This is something that you you love you know i i wake up at 4 30 every morning um and i have very i usually don't get done doing personal reads till six or seven most days i let you know why i do it you know why for one of those days that i'm dragging my butt because i i love it i feel i feel good about it i i feel the need and the desire that i'm being guided to help people i love being able to make a difference in somebody's day it feels good to me but if you're not into something those hard days are so much harder if you don't feel alive about what you're doing scorpio you can barely get through a normal eight hour day let alone put in time energy and effort that it takes to start your own business or start a new creative project. So if there's something that makes you feel alive, start working towards your goals. The divine wants to bring this in for you, but vibrationally, you're not matching with whatever it is you want. You're being guided to raise your vibration and start mending your financial issues here because you have a brand new offer, page of, pen, uh, I'm sorry, page of cups coming in something that you are going to love a gift from the divine this is a gift for all the pain and all the work you have done on yourself congratulate yourself y'all i'm going to give you a round of applause if the divine is bringing you in gifts that means you've done a lot of work on yourself that means you have came to some very hard truths with yourself and you deserve it 
whatever is happening here in your life and your money and career don't look at it as coincidence you deserve this this is part of your wish fulfillment i'm so happy for you but you have to stay in the present moment and raise your vibration is what spirit's saying and then it's all gravy baby there is magic happening behind the scenes for you scorpio get into it I claim spirit. Moving on to, to love. Let's keep up the momentum, guys. Let's keep up the momentum. We're going to cleanse the energy. Okay, baby. Tell me, spirit, what is the overall energy in love today? Give us the goods. Give us something good here for my babes. What is the overall energy? Yes. Beautiful. Romance. For some of you, you're meeting somebody new today. You are going to have a unexpected love interest or there's somebody that's been around you, Scorpio, that is romantically interested in you and they may finally shoot their shot today. <clears throat> this card could signify love, courtship, and a definite relationship potential, a new romance budding, a romantic suitor showering you with attention, a time of fun dates, getting to know each other, enjoy it. If you are a woman, don't rush, push, or run away. Allow yourself to be courted and admired while you receive and appreciate. If somebody gives you a compliment today or someone shoots their shot, no, of course, you do not have to be interested too, but enjoy it. Allow yourself to feel good about it. Don't say, oh, no, no, no. Sometimes when our heart chakra is closed, we have a hard time receiving compliments or receiving um, love and gifts. And if that is the case, work on allowing people to do things and say nice things. If somebody says something nice to you today, like Scorpio, you look amazing, simply say, thank you. There's no need to say, oh no, I, I, or yeah, I just still don't feel the greatest. I don't, don't do that today. Allow someone to be kind and say nice things. When you're coming out of a hard relationship, you can sometimes forget what it's like to be told nice things or made to feel good. And it could make you feel really uncomfortable. For some of you, that is where you are. But if somebody gives you a compliment today, Scorpio, take it, man or woman, take the compliment. One of the reasons why I open with hello gorgeous is because one i enjoy giving compliments and two for some of you you've been going through a really hard time and i want you to feel what it's like to be called gorgeous and and made to feel good i want it to make you feel good if it makes you feel uncomfortable then i'm not i guess you don't vibe with me some people it does and it's 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 because their heart chakra is closed so let's get into it. Tell me, Spirit. Let's keep up the momentum, guys. I have a good feeling about this. Tell me about love and romance for my babes today. Oh, boy. Plan B, delayed gratification, unfinished business, and know you're waiting. For some of you, this is someone from your past. Sniffing around, coming back in, wanting to know what you're doing. This person may reach out today, may reach out and tell you that they miss you, um, you know, with an apology, with wanting forgiveness, conflict resolution. They want to come in. They, they want to tell you that they didn't intend to harm you. They want to make an effort. Spirit saying love is work. Relationships are work. And for some of you, you don't even know if you want to put in time, energy, and effort anymore into a relationship. You are asking yourself, is it worth going back? We've done this so many times. Maybe it doesn't work spiritual evolution is being able to love somebody but understand that love just isn't enough it doesn't save a relationship and it doesn't change if you all don't vibe together or not i feel for some of you you will take the apology but you don't even care anymore you you just want to move forward you may have two people, a new suitor, and then this past person. There's something that, that this person keeps replaying in their mind. Some of you are stuck in the past. You have an outdated way of thinking. And I'm sorry, I'm giving you top end reconciliation. Wow. Without a shadow of a doubt, for some of you, you could hear from a past person today. They're going to try to come back in. They want to get together. They want to make some effort. But this person is replaying events, um, overthinking things. They want to come in and apologize, but they could have too big of an ego to actually apologize. So they're going to come in and uh, just 
try to be nice and that will be their way of apologizing for something like this. For others, this could be a very beautiful reconciliation. It really could. Maybe the timing wasn't right. Maybe there wasn't cheating, lying, abuse, etc. For some of you, you all just started to have a rough patch and you're going to be able to um, reconcile and get together here. For some of you, you may be out over the weekend and run into this past person and have some kind of conflict resolution. Somebody wants to make it better. They do. They want to put in effort and they want to make it better. Tell me about the new person spirit for my Scorps that are looking to move on. For some of you, there's a person that wants to make it better, but the problem is, the problem is, is this. You, you don't. They've done too much. They, they want to make it better right now, but in two months, they'll be right back doing what they did before. For others, this, I believe in redemption. I believe in change. And perhaps there's somebody that you're in separation with that's changed. I would love to see a beautiful reconciliation of two people who, who love and, and care for one another. But you have to make sure this person is ready to actually do the work is what spirit's saying now for those scorpios who want a new person and have been dealing with somebody new they're going to ask you out on a date they want to make plans they want to court you they don't want to leave it to chance they want to create a plan um this person may you may hear that somebody is interested in you today. Again, we have learning the truth. For some of you, there's some truth that you're learning and it could be that somebody around you is interested in you, Scorpio. It could be something about your ex, but for some of you, this is a new person that um, you know, you're learning the truth about that, that they have feelings for you. This person seems to um, feel like somebody you can trust spirit saying it's safe for for you to trust them you you can be open you can be vulnerable with this new person if you have meant somebody new and now keep healthy boundaries and make sure there's no red flags but don't get in your mind and start thinking um you know making things up either this seems to be a trustworthy person I feel like this past person, definitely we have stick around, don't give up, coming back, stick to it. We have reconciliation, we have making it better. They definitely want to come in today with some apology. For some of you, this past person never meant to hurt you. They just ran because the connection was so deep, it, oh, it was overwhelming to them or the timing wasn't right, or things just never aligned for you all to actually be together. Tell me about this past person, Spirit. For some of you, this past person used to, at the end here, they canceled plans with you a lot. I don't want to use this or this set of oracles because I really feel for some of you, this is a very, this could be a beautiful reconnection. Really, I do. I, I have hope. I feel good about it. For some of you, though, this past person was an energy vampire. Um, they were canceling plans with you all the time. They were miserable. They could have been going through a breakup or a divorce. This person could have started being really condescending, stealing your energy in some way. They were projecting, and it just got really bad. And they want to now come in with some apology. What are they? What are their real intentions here? Yeah, this is somebody, though, for others that can be trusted. They have a actual genuine apology for you that maybe they were going through a really hard time. They started to go through something and they changed their behavior in ways, but they weren't doing the the cheating, lying, toxic things that um, a lot of these people have done. They j daydream about you. They fantasize about you. They feel time is running out. They feel um, like they're, you're losing patience or they feel like it requires immediate attention here because you're going to move on. That if they don't come in right now, that you're going to move on. That, and they're really concerned about that. 
Unexpected major changes, powerful change of heart, soulmate, soul family, soul contracts here, Scorpio. This is somebody you want a soul contract with. This is somebody that um, had some unexpected major change. They, they can't get you off their mind now. This is somebody where you all, you thought it was over. You haven't heard from them in quite some time. And suddenly they're going to run back in because they're, they feel like pressured. I, now it makes sense, spirit. In my meditation, I was seeing something boiling, like pressure, and I was hearing pressure, and I knew it. There's times where I don't say it. I was going to tell you that I feel like there's something's pressured today, or that you would feel pressure today, but now I understand. It makes sense now. This person feels really panicked. They're starting to feel a lot of pressure. Like, if I don't come in now, oh my God, I'm going to lose Scorpio. I have to do something. What can I do? And for those that this did not become toxic and abusive, you may have a beautiful reconciliation coming. Now, for some of you, if it was toxic and abusive, perhaps this person's changing. Um, maybe they are doing the work and maybe you will see a difference, but, but watch for red flags and put up healthy boundaries is what spirit is saying here. Okay. Tell me what they keep replaying in their mind. They could have said some foul things to you and they keep thinking it. They, they've been overthinking coming back in because God forbid you reject them. Like what if you have moved on? Yeah, it's ongoing wounds. It's hurt from, from the past and they're weary. They've hurt you. They were guarded, but they're just, they're having epiphanies now. They're understanding what they did. They understand now maybe why you reacted in the manner you did, Scorpio. They've been replaying something over. They, they've had some sudden insight, some epiphany. Wow, very beautiful. For some of you, though, you're, you're starting a new connection, period. Let's talk about the new person. For those who do not want your toxic ex back, and this does not apply, I don't need to be drugged. If you have been through an abusive relationship, this part isn't for you. This is for the Scorpios who have somebody very, very special to them that want reconciliation, um, that it just timing was wrong or, or life got in the way. So there's no need to drag me or anybody who wants to reconcile here. This is a safe place. But for those Scorpios who need to move on because this past person is, is a energy vampire and they are miserable and toxic, let's talk about the new person. Tell me about this spirit. Tell me about the new person. a favorable outcome here y'all for some of you you could have unrealistic standards for some of you because you had such an intense connection with somebody you meet new people and you say oh no never mind i i'll never love again you you have outdated ways of thinking i'll never i don't want to be with them this fuck this new person nope you don't even give them a chance for some, okay, I feel like um, spirit is letting you know right now that maybe you need to change your perception because just because uh, you had a soul connection with somebody in the past and it didn't work, that does not mean you cannot move on and have a healthy, happy love. Some of you are addicted to toxicity and addicted to that intensity. So a healthy connection can feel very boring and that is coming from unhealed wounds. There could be some favorable outcome, some joyful transformation, but you need to take a risk. You seem to feel like it would be risky or this person feels like it would be risky. You seem to be prolonging the inevitable here, Scorpio, um, by just pushing away love, pushing away love because um, the past person could be a waste of time for some of you. I'm not going to lie. So let's talk about the Scorpios that want reconciliation with this beautiful um, soul connection that was not toxic. <clears throat> this is your, this is, they're making judgment calls. They've been holding on tight to you, Four of Pentacles, and they want to come in in the Eight of Pentacles and work on this. They're having sudden insights, sudden realizations that. Oh my God, it's been three months. I haven't talked to Scorpio. What are they doing? What if they're dating? They're like, I feel like this panicked vibe from this person. Tell me about the epiphany. 
for some of you, this person, five of wands in reverse, want to, they want to resolve conflict. They want to come in and talk about having a one-on-one -on -one traditional connection. So beautiful here in the Hierophant Scorpio. This could be a Taurus. Um, this could be another Scorpio Earth, a lot of Earth here. This person is realizing here some things. They may have been to therapy. They could have had traditional therapy. This is somebody who is realizing that they don't want to be without you that they, they, they want to come in like what did we even fight like if that was stupid why did I get so angry about this they're replaying something over and over in their mind maybe you said something to them that was eye-opening like you are you're running or you know something like this tell me about resolving conflict ace of wands temperance and the two of pentacles this person wants to come in and have a brand new exciting passionate beginning a lot of passion here they want to um t they want to balance this situation out but patience would be needed here this could be a sag they're trying to prioritize their time for some of you it was time this person was a single parent they worked they did this they did that and you all just never had the opportunity to actually have a a, a real relationship and they want to come in now and prioritize you so beautiful i really wish you the very best to those scorpios who want reconciliation with this person that is not toxic but you all just you know couldn't make it work at the time tell me about the new connection please for those scorpios that want to move on rapid fire planning here page of wands two of wands moving forward and the full beautiful this could be an aquarius or a fire sign for for your moving forward loves for those that want to move on you're going to move forward and get some really good news have a lot of nice communication coming in and in and, and out from this person good morning good night text and taking a leap of faith with them right off the cliff tell me tell me about what scorpio may learn about this person that they're healing too, that they feel drained and defeated, that they left somebody else. If you're meeting a new person, you're going to find out that this person, I feel for some of you, there could have been a flirtation or something heavy between you and another person, but you were both involved. You may find out here that this person that you've always had an attraction to is going through a breakup their self. They seem to be a bit drained and they're healing here. They, they've went through a loss their self and they've walked away from somebody you may actually learn about this today you may learn the truth about why their marriage for example it was somebody that they could have had children with what happened here this is somebody that seems to have went through a breakup their self with somebody that was a bit narcissistic somebody from their past for some of you this is somebody from your past that you're going to reconnect with now as a lover because you're both single like this could be somebody that you've known for a long time but you were both involved and now you, you all are um, coming together this person watches you um, they, they, they really do. They're coming up with some strategy. They want to shoot their shot, but they're going through a lot their self. This could be a very healing relationship for those Scorpios who want to move forward. And this applies to if this resonates with you. This could be a very healing relationship. Tell me, what does the past person have to say to Scorpio? Please, spirit. I feel heartbreak broken. Don't think I don't care. I just feel uh, stuck right now. Your silence is driving me crazy. It is. I miss you. I'm waiting for the right time to approach. I'm not sure when that is. It won't be long. Please don't be mad. I think of you often and I still feel you. Yeah, this is a beautiful connection, Scorpio. To those Scorpios that didn't go through a mad disaster or a cheating, lying, whatever, and if this was just a connection that you all didn't seem to have time for or it wasn't the right timing or whatever um this is beautiful this person is tired of being silent they're having epiphanies and they want to come back in very very good so i wish you all the very best this last message is just for you spirit tell me what is the personal message what is the message we can give scorpio today please what is their daily message
start a revolution number 28 and treat your body like the palate it is there's something here scorpio that you may want to protest there's something that you may want to do um that is different from the crowd and you're being guided to do just that homeward number 42 take yourself on a date sweetheart slow down it is time to press pause contemplate before your next leg of journey it's in those solitary introspection introspective moments where we learn the most interesting eye-opening things of ourself take yourself out on a date of sorts even if it's just a quiet cozy night at home enjoy your own company spirit is asking you to work on being mindful today big message sit with yourself for a while what is it that you really want what is it that you want out of a relationship does the person that you're waiting around for even have those traits anymore um, if the answer is no Scorpio you already know what you need to do I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed Friday and you have a chance to sit with yourself and and really really just be grateful for who you are and what you have to offer love and light